Hello YouTube friends. This video is on the Rogue, the regular Rogue um, 25. So my other video was about the satchel that I have and that's more of a doctor's bag style and this one is more square. This is the smaller version of the Rogue. They also, um, the regular size I believe is 31. I think they also have a 36 and now they have uh, Rogue briefcase sizes. A a thin one and a thicker one and so they have made some changes on the new rogues um, that were introduced this year and I don't have one of those and I probably won't so I won't go over that <laughs> but I'll just show you uh, a little tour of this one because I haven't actually shown it on its own yet so the rogue first thing you'll notice is it has the top handles and they do have the red glazing which is really cute it also has this little clochette. Mine doesn't happen to have anything in it because mine was a uh, um, version after the ones that had keys apparently. And it uh, has a little hang tag. Same color on both, although the front of this one is the smooth saddle and this is the pebble grain saddle. The color of this one is the um, saddle color. And then the lining color, I don't know what they called this. It looks kind of like a really pretty marigold color, something along those lines. And it's suede, and it's just so plush and beautiful. It also comes with two uh, shoulder straps. And these are very comfortable. They're very lightweight. And what I like about them is that they hook, you can hook each one right here on each side and make it a shoulder bag, which is how I usually carry it. Or you can join them and you can do it diagonally. And when you hook them diagonally like this, it makes the strap really long, like a crossbody strap. So you have a lot of different options with this bag, which I appreciate. That's always a nice feature to have. These uh, clasps are very, um, mine are very tight which I like because I have a problem with most coach straps where that little dog leash hook is too loose and sometimes they open up while you're carrying it, which is not fun. So <clears throat> one of the main uh, interesting details on these Rogue bags is that they do have this exaggerated zipper part that goes all the way around. And it's one of the things that I hated about them. <laughs> I know you've seen my other videos, I'm sure, where I talked about how I hated this bag and then I was obsessed with it. That's just how it goes, isn't it? But um, I just couldn't stand that. I thought, God, that is so ugly. Who would want a zipper sticking out like that? But when you fill up the bag, the inside kind of has room to pooch out with it. And it's just kind of an interesting feature. Um, it doesn't do too, too much as far as usability. It does zip all the way around. But then you've still got these gussets here that don't open very wide and so it doesn't make it as accessible as say the uh, fossil sydney or rachel so the dimensions of this are it's uh, 10 inches long across this way eight inches high and then it's five and a half inches wide so it's a boxy little thing it's almost as tall as it is wide and that makes it very comfortable to carry as well it's very soft. Um, on the bottom it does say genuine glove tanned pebble leather and it has feet. And these feet happen to have the little straps under them. I think for a while they were making them without. And then you've got the little 1941 symbol here. And then mine does not have the little 1941 leather symbol on the bottom. I understand that some of the earlier ones did not. So just keep in mind, yours might look a little bit different depending on when it was manufactured, but this is definitely genuine. I got it new, so. Um, the side pockets are pretty roomy. I can put, I have my glasses in here and I can carry my phone in there. Um, I don't know that I would want to put keys in there because it does start to bulge out the leather a little bit. The glasses case is fine, but it is soft and I just worry about things poking into the suede. 
because suede is, as we know, not as hardy as the pebbled leather. The inside of it is the, um, it's like a cottony material and it's kind of a pinkish beige. And on this side of the 25, you've got a zippered pocket where the Creed is instead of having um, the kiss lock closure like the bigger ones do. And here's the story patch. And then the other side has a really nice little snap for a big slip pocket. So you could easily put your phone in there or your keys or whatever you want. So as you can see, even though the zipper zips all the way down, it does make it kind of useless because you can't really open this up that wide. So this is one of those bags that I would say runs to the small side where you want to kind of edit what you're carrying. So I'll show you what I have. I don't have as much as usual in here. I've got my corner zipper slip because it is also saddle, but it's the dark saddle in cross grain. And so you can see the difference even within the same brand, saddle versus saddle. The dark saddle is more of a cool tone and this is more of a rusty tone, but it looks so pretty for fall. And then I have my little Victoria's Secret card holder. I have my little vitamin case and someone had asked about where I got this in one of the last videos and I believe I got this at TJ Maxx and it's going to be over by the purses and the wallet area where you can find like AirPod holders and things like that. So it's really handy and it does have lots of little compartments in it. So very handy, very lightweight, good size for all my bags. And then what I'm using for a wallet right now, because it's kind of holiday season, is my Lotus wristlet. And this is a really neat little bag. It's one of those um, things I got for a gift. Uh, yeah, I got as a gift from my mother-in-law years ago. I think it was about three or four years ago. And she actually got me two different um, leathers. And I didn't expect to like it as much as I do. You have the wristlet option, you can remove this, and it also came with a crossbody strap, so it has two little hooks right here. It's the RFID so that uh, your cards are safe. And what I like about it is the front part is your one double and triple them up if you want to. So, very handy. I enjoy it. So that snaps down. You've got a place for bills here. And then this back one doesn't pull down like that but it, the pockets are a little bit extra wide. You've got two snaps depending on how wide or how full you have it. And then it just has a zip with a pouch. And so you can easily fit your phone and keys in here if this is all that you want to take with you. I have coupons and gum and some uh, change in here right now. So it's a very comfortable little bag to carry or if you want a bigger wallet, this works also. The leather is super nice on this and it's definitely broken in through the years. It wasn't, you know, like with all these bags, it was, <laughs> it's kind of stiff and not as pretty and shiny as it is now, but yeah, I really enjoy this. So it's by the brand Lotus and I believe it was from QVC or something like that. So as you can see, there's just a square opening here. That's it. That's all the space you have. There's not a lot to it, not a lot of organization. I would not put an organizer in there. Um, I don't know of anyone that I've seen do that because it's a pretty small space. So it's kind of a cubic bag. It looks like it would be boxy enough to hold more than it does. But on the other hand, the fact that it doesn't really does keep the weight down. When you're looking at suede linings and different things like that, the weight can be affected by that and this is really very light and very easy for me to carry I enjoy it very much so there it is the coach rogue 25 in saddle it's a great beautiful bag for fall I intend to be carrying this one soon I don't know what I was waiting for but there we go <laughs> okay if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Until next time.